Okay, and welcome back to creating a flyer using Photoshop. Uh, one caveat to that last video, I did not show you how to make a drop shadow on the One Night Stand, the official. So let's go over that real quick. Go ahead and highlight One Night Stand, and you're going to come down to the FX icon. You're going to click and hold and drag all the way up to where it says Drop Shadow. That's going to open up your Layer Styles menu. Now, with Drop Shadow, you can kind of change the angle of the Drop Shadow up here. You see the angle of the drop shadow kind of changes from right to left or left to right. The distance here shows how much it can fade out or, or get closer to the, uh, the text. The spread basically makes it either darker or lighter or more in focus. And the size, this kind of blurs it out if you just want it to look like it's you know, barely there. And you have your contours here which uh, you can add different kind of contours on it and noise noise just basically does what it does, says just makes it really uh, pixelated and granuled alright we're gonna go ahead and cancel that alright so the next couple pieces of text we're gonna add are fairly simple Saturday uh, 625 uh, presents and uh, the other one is um, for more information those are fairly simple just basically use the same methods that I used prior you just don't rasterize it and um, that's pretty simple uh, you see here the Saturday and the 625 is turned vertical how I did that let's go ahead and double click that to highlight the uh, Saturday how I did that is I type it in normally and then I went over to edit, transform, and I went over to uh, counterclockwise to make it back the way it was before I'm going to go clockwise. And you see it's uh, back the original way there. That's how I originally typed it. I went over to edit, transform, counterclockwise, and it turned it uh, vertical for me. And I did the same thing with 625. Uh, PME Presents is, is fairly simple. And for more info, it's fairly simple. Um, that should be pretty uh, straightforward with that one. So we're going to go on to the next part. All right, welcome back to creating a flyer using Photoshop. Hopefully, you've seen the other videos and you followed along with us. As you can see, we're kind of getting toward the end here to uh, making our photo or our uh, flyer look similar to the original that we took off the internet here not bad so far alright this is kind of the part two of uh, creating text the rest of the text that's in here I'm gonna go over how I did that we'll kinda see where I stopped I stopped around uh, birthday celebration that's birthday celebration there buckshots there four hosted by music by those are the uh, other texts we're going to go over real quick. Starting off with birthday celebration. We're going to highlight birthday celebration or activate it. It's uh, very similar again to uh, the other text video that we just shot. The only thing I added here was an outer glow. And I showed you how to do the uh, drop shadow prior. But for this one, we're going to show the outer glow. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and take this effect and drag it to the garbage can and we're going to create it again how about that all I did was took that effect and grab it to the, and uh, sent it to the garbage can so let's do it again we're going to go to the effects icon and we want outer glow so we're going to come up to outer glow release and you can see we already kind of have an outer glow going there but we want to add our own color let's go ahead and add like a greenish color to it so right here is your little color picker here or color palette Go ahead and double click that. And let's say I want to get green out of here a little bit. I kind of like that green right there. That's nice. So now what I want to do to that, to that outer glow is spread it out a little bit. All right, make it nice and shiny. Add some blur to it, not that much blur, but uh, something right up in there. Oh, uh, you see it's on screen mode already. And like we said before, screen mode kind of like lightens it a little bit. That's normal mode. 
and that is way too dark I like screen mode a little bit lighter you can use any mode that you choose but uh, we still have the same contour that we had in the uh, drop shadow but let's go ahead and keep that so let's press OK the next thing we're going to do is uh, buck shots right there buck shots we did a little bit different we uh, use the uh, font 28 days later I made the uh, buck shots there selected OK and the effect we added to that one was a uh, stroke we did the same process we went over to the uh, FX icon and went to strokes and we added a stroke on it let's see what stroke looks like go over to stroke and double click it that will still open up your uh, layer style menu and stroke is right here and you can see here we added a black stroke there with a uh, three pixel size on it is stroked on the outside this is outside or inside there and that's center okay I don't know if you saw the difference between outside and inside it looks about the same no it doesn't All right. we want outside the blending mode was normal opacity was all the way to 100 and that was black so that was actually fairly simple okay what's the next one the next one is four same process we put four with an outer glow and hosted by pork chop cool alright we did pork chop and we added two effects you can add just as many effects as you want to these um, to this text let's go into effects and you can see we added outer glow and a stroke on that that was the uh, stroke we put a stroke in green here and the outer glow we made like that yellowish color and I just changed some uh, some sliders around to get the way to look the way I wanted to look. So that was that one. And music by same concept. And that looks like all of the text. I think we're starting to get a flyer. How about that? So let's move on to another part. <laughs> 